everybody. I'm Tony with Giving Chances Farm. Welcome back to our channel. Um, today we're going to be showing you guys the um, we ended up getting the replacement order from Murray McMurray Hatchery. So um, everybody's alive. Uh, this order only took less than two full days to get to us. They were shipped out Monday and um, about our lunch time or so is when we got the message saying that the um, label was created and before nine o'clock this morning uh, on Wednesday morning they were at the post office waiting on us so much better results than last week when the label was created about the same time on that Monday and we didn't get them till Thursday so and more than half the order was dead on arrival so uh, everybody in here is looking good uh, we've mixed them in with the others that we had already so uh, but everybody in there is doing good and the surprise chick this go around um, it's kind of like a buff color with feathered feet so the girls are excited about that ever since we got the um, feathered foot coaching last uh, last year for the uh, surprise chick. They've been all about the feathered feet and the coaching. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this just to keep the heat in here for these guys. Like I said, they've got access to the heat lamp and the uh, do more heat plate. So there's more than enough to keep them warm in there. The ducks are wanting some of the action, I guess. They're over there making all kinds of racket. So, I definitely don't miss them being inside. They are so messy. Yes. I mean, this is just their second day in here, and it, it already needs cleaned out. I'm hoping to get them back maybe, outside. Maybe not. Maybe tomorrow, but probably on Friday. It's supposed to not be in that freezing. Yeah. Um, we got weather. a wet, heavy, over two inches uh, of snow. So uh, I hear you. <clears throat> last night, so that's why Brittany brought them back. I mean, in our and area, then it was we snowing were again just supposed to, to get up to, what, three? I think so, and it was snowing again just a few minutes ago. Um, but, I mean, you can see the green grass again uh, about midday today. Most of it was melting, but when we just uh, went to pick the girls up from school, and then shortly after that it started uh, snowing again, so... Uh, we're... Uh, we're glad that this go around it. All the chicks made it here. So far, everybody seems to be doing fine. Um, we made sure we got them into the brooder as soon as we came home with them. And I said prayers prior yeah. to them uh, even shipping. Everybody got uh, shown where the water is at. And, and speaking of water, um, I put a little bit of apple cider vinegar in there so i use like a cap off of the the small bottle that i have of that and put in the water i don't remember do you remember what size that uh it's, it's about equivalent to the because you uh mixed it in that quart jar okay. and it's about about equivalent because it almost fills that up fills so that up so it's about a i one put quart. warm water in that and then I put a cap full of apple cider vin vinegar and then probably equivalent to like maybe a teaspoon to a tablespoon of our raw honey. Yeah, so that helps them not having that pasty rear. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, that's the goat feed. Okay. What are you doing it with a scoop? Why don't you just it, the scoop is in that. I know, but why does she? Do I it? just don't do a full. Just, yeah. Just use the, the cups. cups. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since they fed. 
well, with we, uh, feet, their goat feet up there in a barrel. We switched it because <clears throat> I was putting it, I was taking it off of the barrel and putting it in a up. bag up there for them in a small scoop. But I got tired of doing that. I just put the whole barrel up there. So this makes it a little easier. Okay, it's the next day and came out here to the morning chores. All of the Cornish Cross and the free chick that we got yesterday, all are still doing good. I been, well, I should say, as far as the, the water mixture that I said from yesterday with the warm water, apple cider vinegar, and honey. I'm doing that once a day. Fill in there this little, I'd say, quart size jar. Last night, I went ahead and told the girls to go ahead and just refill it with uh, just regular water. And I came out here this morning and gave them another quart size uh, milk jug of warm water and um, between a uh, teaspoon and a tablespoon of the uh, raw honey that we produce here on the farm and then a cap full which is about that tall and about that big around full of the apple cider vinegar and that's for that whole quart and then we put it in there and then when they get all of that done, like I said, we'll go back and uh, give them just regular water. I've added, you probably seen that yesterday, but we have two of the small feeders. I'll switch them out to one of the long red, red ones, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this closed. That way it keeps the heat in because it's still kind of cold today. It's supposed to warm back up um, on Friday, and by next Monday, it'll be in the 70s, so they will be going back out, like I said yesterday, probably, um, on Friday. I'll move them, I'll put them in, a, like, a dog carrier or a pet carrier, whatever the person use it for, but it's one of the the bigger one so I I think we put there's 13 of them I think the girls did six of them the first time and it gets kind of heavy with that many because they were trying to put all of them in that tote and I said no I won't be able to carry them if you stick all of them plus they'd be all crowded and stuff so I just told them to put no more than six in there at a time And uh, I brought them inside, but I'll clean their that pin tomorrow. I may add some more um, shavings on top, but like I said, ducks are so messy. And they're enjoying their heat lamp. Now we didn't stick one on the, the ducks. They've already started getting most of their feathers that they're going to have for um, now and with the khaki Campbells they said they're a more cold tolerant bird so I didn't worry too much with bringing them in the barn to have them have a, a heat lamp on them so that's why they don't have one they seem like they're doing okay but the chicks over there they go over there, and if they get warm, they they go sit over there in that corner. So, going to probably be another busy day today. I plan on uh, maybe sewing some more towels for the farmer's market for us to sell. I got to clean the house because usually when Tony's home, I don't get the cleaning done. So that'll be my, my chore for today, plus it's kind of still cold and 
not much of anything to do out here but other than check on the animals to make sure that they are all doing fine i come out here and try and check on the chicks i don't want to open it up too much because that allows the heat to come out and then uh it have to start all over again to warm back up so but i come out there and and check on them just to make sure everything's going all right in there. We did have one tragedy today. One of the two chicks that we hatched ourselves that had the leg injury, I came out here and found it dead. So hopefully the other one, I'm sure that's probably what's gonna happen with it. It's gonna end up dying too after looking up on the internet because those two were the ones that I intervened with their hatching I helped them hatch out and what I was reading it says more most of the time if a chick is having trouble hatching on its own there's some kind of something wrong with it whether it be with its legs or what and that could be the cause or be caused by, I should say, um, the hatching, the incubator's temperature could cause um, deformities in the chicken's legs and stuff. So, and then there was another one that said that um, maybe the chick didn't have the type of room that it needed in there or the way it was in the egg caused the leg to grow kind of funky or whatnot. So they said more than likely those chicks that um, have a hard time, you know, trying to hatch on their own, even if you would happen to intervene and help them break out of the shell. It said like one out of three. I think that's what the number was. But anyways, it said the majority of the time those chicks end up uh, end up dying due to whatever may be wrong with them at that time so i tried that is our farm name given chances so i was trying to give the chicks some uh a chance to survive but sometimes you know that doesn't that doesn't want to go the way that you want it to go so god has other plans for the things and I guess he must have needed that chick more than what we did. So that's what happened. So I hope you enjoyed watching our videos. Thanks for hanging out with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And share on all your social media because that helps us out. And we will see you tomorrow. Have a nice day.